Good morning, dear brethren. Praise God. Praise the name of the Most High God. I just want to take this opportunity to thank God for uh, giving me yet another uh, chance to share His Word. Um, this Word has just been a burden on me since morning. And amazingly, every time I'm opening my Bible, I'm just falling on this Word. Uh, I changed from the ESV and I thought the ESV was not really bringing it out the way I understood it through the NIV and I just opened the NIV and I'm just landing on the same word and I know it is it is the Holy Spirit that really wants me to share this word but before I share the word um, I just would like us to share a word of prayer father we thank you so much for this day thank you Lord for it is a day that you have made for us so that we can rejoice and be glad in this day Father, I pray that as we hear your word, O oh God, you will you will open up our hearts to receive, prepare our hearts, O oh God, to receive. Jehovah God, every kind of iniquity that will hinder us, O oh Heavenly Father, every kind of barricade blockage that will hinder us, O oh God, from hearing this word and digesting it and embracing it oh god we remove it in the name of jesus we plead the blood of the lamb to wash us and cleanse us wash our inner man cleanse our thoughts our speech our deeds our bodies oh jehovah our spiritual ears and eyes and our hearts oh god with the blood of jesus that we can hear this word of god and understand it the way you want us to understand it oh holy spirit work in us oh jehovah god with this with this word today in the name of jesus father anoint my tongue with the power of the holy spirit that as i speak this word oh god let it be you oh god who will speak through me according to your will and riches in glory. Father, that shall decrease and you increase, O oh God, to the glory of your name. Father, I thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity that you can share another word. I thank you for laying this burden in my heart to share this word this morning. I return all the praise, glory, honor, and adoration back to you. Thank you for giving us a good night's sleep. Thank you for protecting us, O oh Jehovah. Thank you for fighting our battles, O oh God. The battles that have been done in secret that we didn't know when we were asleep, O oh Jehovah. You fought them for us, O oh God. Thank you for being faithful. Faithful. Thank you for loving us, O oh Jehovah. Thank you that your word says you are not man, that you should lie. And you've stood with your word that, Lord, you will never leave us nor forsake us. And you've stood with us, O oh Jehovah. And I thank you for that. Jehovah God, I thank you. I thank you so much for this moment. Sanctify each and every one of us with the blood of Jesus. Sanctify this moment that we're going to share this word with the blood of Jesus. I remove every hindrance, barricade, O oh Jehovah, that will stop us from hearing this word, that will, will block this moment, O oh Jehovah God, for your saints to hear your word, my God. And I bind every past principalities, rulers and authorities seated in the heavenlies that are going to block this press from being heard, O oh Jehovah God, my God, blocking us from Father, I thank you. I give you glory. I give you praise on adoration. This is in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. I'm going to read from the book of uh, Romans chapter 12. And I will start from the verse 9. And I, I, I would like to use the NIV. The NIV actually um, brings out this um, the scripture very, um, it breaks it down and makes, it simplifies it, so to say. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual favor. Serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope. Patient in affliction. Faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not pay anyone. Do not repay anyone for evil, but be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, Live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Amen. And I just want to stress on the verse 15. Rejoice with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn. Then I want to go on to the verse 16. Live in harmony with one another. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. 
Do not be conceited. Amen. Amen. The title of this um, in the NIV uh, says love in action. But, you know, I just want to bring out something that I believe God wants us to understand. You know, there are times we are calling ourselves the children of the Most High God, the sons and daughters of God. We are standing and praying. We are standing and doing warfare. But there's some simple things, simple principles in the Bible that we are overlooking. We think if we speak in tongues, we think if we are anointed, if we think we are called the woman of God or the man of God, the anointed one, if we think that is what will make us enter the kingdom of heaven, then we are lying to ourselves. If we overlook these small and little principles that I'm putting that in big quotes, this is written in the Bible. We overlook such things, simple things, and then we want to do the bigger and greater things that the world can see. We want to go and lay our hands and pray in tongues and cast out demons. But if you lack love for one another, if you lack love in the house of the Lord, if you lack that brotherly love, I tell you, my dear, you will cast out that demon and it will come against you. That will not get you to heaven. Love is one of the principles that God wants us to have. If you don't have love, 1 Corinthians is one of my favorites. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. You know, if you can speak in all tongues, prophesy, do all those things that we spiritual people, we do in front of everybody to see and so that we can be called, hey, that one can pray, that one knows this. And we lack love, my dear, forget it. It is just like the clang of symbols, clang, 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 making noise. If we don't have that love for one another, then we are wasting our time. The small and little things that are the major ones in the Bible, these things that we cannot measure by looking at uh, them with our physical eyes, things like love. You know, you we can only see someone has the love of God by... Um, by uh, their actions, by the things they do. And, you know, I'm looking at this verse 16 of rejoice with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn. Because of the moment that uh, we're going through right now, we're going through a difficult uh, a moment. And, you know, when we are happy, we are there, we are praising God, we are celebrating. But when it comes to that time of going through the fire, and, you know, one of us is going through the fire, I believe that we should all go through that fire together with that person. You know, when Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego were put into that furnace of fire and they stood firm when they were going through that trial of being burnt in that fire. I tell you, Jesus stood with them. He didn't enter that furnace inside. He entered that fire with them. What about we human beings? When others are going through trials and tribulations, we don't want to stand with them. We want to look for reasons. We don't want to get out of our comfort zones. We want to look down upon each other. We don't want to have zeal. That zeal for serving God. The minute you serve a brother, you are serving God. How can you serve a God you cannot see? Yet your brother who was created in the image of God, you don't want to serve that person. Let me tell you one thing. Eh? Let me tell you one thing. We are looking beyond and searching beyond. Yet that which God wants us to do is released and is here with you. His name is Emmanuel. God with us. He's here with you. Serve him. He's here with you. Don't look beyond. The thing he wants to do is here with you. Now is the time. My dear brothers, my dear sisters, it says love must be sincere. Let's not have love on the lips. Let love be in action. Be devoted to one another in love. Such that when someone is in need, you are the first one to be there. You sacrifice everything. You take yourself there. Sometimes even just being there and holding that person's hand. Or just sitting there and being silent. You don't know what to say. Hmm? You just sit there. You don't know what to do. But just your presence means something. You can have someone going through some situations. They don't know what to say. They, you don't even know how to solve that problem yourself. You know, you're about to tell the person, hey, go look for a pastor. Go look for, for guidance and counseling. Don't come to me. But just giving an ear and let that person speak and just pour out their hearts. But we are selfish. 
We want to be prayed for. We want to just be prayed for. Pray for my problem. Do this. Do this. Lord. Do this. When it comes to you giving, when it comes to you taking time to pray for one another, and that is a one way of showing love, being there for one another in time of need, being hospitable. We don't want to do it. It doesn't matter whether you have a big mansion, a big house, that small house. Let the one who talks, talks. Whether your house is broken down, whether it has, you have given them shelter. The one who doesn't feel comfortable there can leave. But you have been hospitable enough to host people for a certain reason. A purpose that means serving God. You have been able to host someone in your house and be hospitable. And give them that which you are eating. Not that you give them that and you are eating that. You have given your all. My dear brothers, my dear sisters. Sometimes we are doing things eh, and you are wondering. Why am I not getting breakthroughs? Why am I not moving forward? Why is my life rotating? And you are hearing others with testimonies, testimonies testimonies and you're wondering why 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 lord why not me when is my time coming but it's just because yours is just uh, um your love is not being put in action god looks and sees the heart you know men can see the outward we look at the outward but god looks deep within the heart you know he says honor one another above yourselves honor lift up somebody else above yourself we in turn want to be honored. We want to go somewhere and people look at you. Hey, woman of God. Hey, Pastor Rebecca, how are you? Oh, we thank God for your life. You want people to bless you instead of you being the one to serve and honor the other people. And telling them, God bless you. May you be blessed. And just give, 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 give. Honor others above yourself. Do not be full of yourself and think of yourself more higher than any other person. Instead, put yourself down there and the Lord who sees in secret will lift you up. I tell you, you know, sometimes I say, eh, this world, there's a Kiswahili saying that says, dunia ni mviringo, the world is round. What goes around turns around. It's just the same thing. I tell you, one day you honor someone, the next day somebody will honor you. You will even be shocked. Why is this person honoring me now? Why is this person, you know, looking upon me like this with favor? But it is because you favored another person. It is because you helped another person. It is because you were hospitable to another person. I tell you, my dear brothers, my dear sisters, I see how people, we call it in Kiswahili, mkonobirika. You don't want to give your time. You don't want to give, open your homes to people. You don't want to open your your time and your life and your everything to other people. You don't want to be there for people. You don't want to give and share that which you know with other people. You don't want to pray for others. You don't want to be there for other people. Yet you're calling yourself a Christian, a born again Christian for that matter. And condemning uh, the Satan in other people, condemning the wicked, pointing fingers. Remove the log in your eye first before you remove a speck in another person's eye. I tell you, we shall miss heaven because of some of these things. We are living here on earth. We are supposed to be operating in the heavenly realms. We are supposed to walk like the children of the Most High Lord, but we are walking like children of the enemy, bound. We are walking as slaves. Why? Because we are allowing it. Mm. My spirit is troubled by this thing. My spirit right now is so troubled and I just, I want to mourn because I see the children of God despising one another, calling one another, that one is just an addict. That one is just a drunkard. That one, that is her life. Looking down upon people instead of you going to rescue them. Be zealous in what you do. I tell people, you know, when Jesus was walking on this earth, those three years, those three years, this man, we've read about him as in it's 2,000 years ago. We... He's the one who reigns. There's no other name that is spoken about, that is honored, that is talked about. There's no other person who is, who is great in the whole of history like Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, we talk about him till today. And what did he do? He stood on a boat and preached to crowds. He didn't go to a synagogue. He went to the temple on the Sabbath, honored the Sabbath as usual. He didn't say, I'm the son of God, so I'm not going to go to church. I'm not going to go to the temple. No, he did go. But on top of that, he walked around because that is where the harvest is. We need to be zealous. But when it comes to going to do the word of God, people will have all the reasons why they can't move. 
People will have all the reasons why they can't go to the urban of to the to the to the train station to go and preach, to go to the neighbor, to go and preach, to speak to your workmates, to tell them about Jesus. You want to remain with it yourself. You don't want to open up. And then you, you can't even, you know, those, these, these last time I was, there was a time I was in, uh, in another town, in another prayer meeting. And there's a woman who said, she said something that I tell you, it's just been ringing in my head. She said, there's someone maybe seated in a pub. And you know, she referred to, to, to my community people, to my country people. She said, there could be someone there who is a Deborah. Someone who is out there, who is a Ruth, who's an Abigail, and is just waiting for you to go and speak to them in that pub. But we shall say there are demons in that pub that will not enter because you're holier than thou. But the things you do in darkness, the things you do in secret, your heart is full of darkness. You are the one who will condemn the one who is publicly sitting in the pub and call that there are demons inside that place. Yet you're the one who is carrying them, possessed. Because if you don't laugh, then what do you have? Nothing. Nothing. We need to love one another. We need to honor one another. We need to be hospitable. Let's open up our homes. Just because somebody doesn't have a place to stay, you will because they don't have that condition and situation, you know, cannot allow them. You don't want to give them. You want to give those who you, you can deal with and you think are of, you know, a high position and then despise the low ones. No, it is not that. Those are the ones, you t- the ones in high position can go take hotel. Open your doors for people. Share your food with others. Share your clothes. Share the word of God. Share your word of God with the heathens. Do not despise them. They are the children of God. They were created in the image of God just like you are. You don't have six eyes. You have two eyes just like them. They can be worshipping something else, but they're still the children of God. And those are the people that God wants to take. He says, I'll leave the 99 and go for that just one. He left the 99 and came for you. You didn't save yourself. He came and gave you. Faith is a gift and it only comes from God. That's what the Bible says. So don't count yourself more high than the others. It is only when people are rejoicing, hey, pare, pare, here, pare, there. You're there with them. When it comes to problems, you want to run away. You don't want to be there for people. You don't want to stand with them. You have reasons why you cannot stand with people. Huh? But when you, you have trouble, you want people to be there, be there, be there. I tell you, we need to change. The Bible says in the verse 16, I love this one. It says, live in harmony with one another. Live in harmony with one another. You know, try as much as possible to be at peace with everybody. Try as much as possible. And do not repay evil for evil. And be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. Why? Because you'll be honoring your father in heaven. You'll be honoring your father in heaven. When people see you praying, 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 and you're doing things that are, you know, we are putting question marks. Those who are weak in the things of God will say, I, why should I follow the God this person is talking about? Let me go my way. If this is how we behave, eh, why should I follow this God of theirs? Sometimes it is our character that is making people not come to the Lord. The Bible says, because of us, our, the name of the Lord is blasphemed amongst the Gentiles because of the sins that we're doing, the things we're carrying. And you know, we think sin is what we see. Sin is what is hidden inside. And the God who, who sees deep inside your heart, such as deep within you, who sees that is the one who can judge. But we don't want to listen. We don't want to do what is written in the word of God. We don't want to follow it. We want to follow part and leave part. I tell you, Speak in all the tongues you want to speak. Prophesy as you want to prophesy. Cast out demons and do everything. But if the love of God is not in you, you're wasting time. If you don't honor one another, you're wasting time. If you don't live at peace with one another, you're wasting time. If you repay evil for evil, you're wasting time. It says, um, leave God. Leave the room for God's wrath. Because it says, it is me to avenge. God says, it is for me to repay, not you. It is for me to punish them. It is for me to go and bring justice upon them. You remember Jonah. He says, I knew God will forgive them. Him, he wanted the revenge. He wanted them to be punished. No, God is a God of love. He knows he's, the, he's a God of justice. He knows whom to punish. He knows when to punish. Even we who are walking in his ways, sometimes when you fall, he has to rectify you, rebuke you, and bring you back so that you can walk in the right way. It is for your own good. This morning, my dear brother, my dear sister, search deep within yourself. Analyze yourself. Analyze yourself properly. Some people do not want to analyze themselves because pride has eaten them so much. They think they are better than anybody else. They think they know it all. Believe you me, it's better for you to remain down there. Look at yourself slowly 
and God will lift you up. Love one another. Love one another. Rejoice when others are rejoicing and mourn with them when they are mourning. Stand with one another. Don't let people walk by you who I need. Don't let people walk by you who need just that smile, that good morning, that God bless you. Open your doors. Invite people in your homes and take care of them. Stand with people and not just stand with them a quarter mile. Go with them the whole nine yards. Walk with them. Bless people. I tell you, as you bless them, you'll never lack. You'll never lack. Never. Trust me. You'll never lack. God will always lift you up because you are serving him. As you serve others, that is what serving is. Serving is not entering the temples and standing and preaching in the altars, the, the big buildings we've built and made them with, you know, colorful curtains and, you know, painted them and put big crosses. And, no, serving God is going out there in the streets, speaking to, the, to those who are out there in the streets who don't know him, who are in bondage. Speak to them. Take your time and go there. Jesus walked on this earth. He walked around preaching, spreading the gospel, teaching the word, healing the sick, casting out demons, raising the dead. He was going round, 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 round. He would move from place to place, place to place. He would tell the people, sit down on the ground. Hmm? These days we hear, hey, we need uh, fundraising for chairs for the church. Those pastors will never go to the streets and preach. You'll never see making, making it their, 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 their ultimate goal to go and fish those who are out there in the streets. Go to the pub and be, be bold enough to preach in the pub, bold enough to preach in the bus. Instead, those who you see entering the buses preaching, you think they're mad. No, they have just discovered the truth in the word of God in the gospel. Let me stop here. Let me stop here. Today, I just want to encourage you. Love one another and let that love be in action. Let it be in action. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you with thanksgiving in our hearts. Oh, Jehovah, thank you for this word, oh, heavenly God. Thank you, Jehovah God, for that which you've talked talk to us and spoken to us today through your word in Romans chapter 12, verse 9 to 21. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I pray that you work on us. I pray that you will bless us today with this word. Father, give us the love of Christ. Give us the love of Christ. Give us the strength. Give us the capability, oh God, to stand and serve one another and be there for each other, oh Jehovah God. Teach us your ways, my God. Help us walk in ways of righteousness for your name's sake, oh God, that you, oh Lord, will be glorified. You, our Father, your name will be glorified through us, through our actions in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Jehovah God, we give you glory, we give you praise, we give you honor and adoration. We worship you. I pray for my dear sister, my dear brother who's hearing this word today, that Lord, you will bless them, oh God. Father, you will watch over them. And Father, if they are not, they don't know you, Lord, let them know you. Reveal yourself unto them today in the name of Jesus. Touch them, transform them. Lord, teach them your ways in the mighty name of Jesus. Be glorified, Father. We pray all this believing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful and blessed weekend. Remember, serve one another. Go out there and spread the gospel. It is out there where the harvest is. The harvest is plenty. The workers are few. Uh, be one of the workers who has um, devoted themselves to serve, 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 and serve one another with love. Let love be real. Let it be real. Let us see the love of God, love of Christ in each other, in one another, in, in, in ourselves. And, you know, uh, let it be, 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 be mirrored to others. Be an example. Be an example to others. Um, this is uh, Rebecca Kituri. From the House of Prayer for All Nations Ministry, God bless you and shalom.